Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys what you should be doing first in Series 3. And of course this video helped you guys out. I would appreciate if you would smack the like button on the video because of course the more likes this video gets, the more comments this video gets, the more people that will find this video and it will help them out. So if you guys enjoy, please drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below. At the time of recording this video, we're about 1,500 subscribers away from 1 100,000 subscribers. Just want to say thank you guys very much for all the support this year. And if you're not already subbed to the channel, I definitely recommend you hit that sub button down below. And of course, turn that notification bell on. I'm currently grinding out the journey and my mutt level. You can see I'm already mutt level 60 once. I'm trying to get up to level 70. But with that being said, let's get into what you should do first. And in my opinion, the very first thing you guys should try and get done, there's actually about two things I would say. But first up, my personal recommendation. If you guys are playing right now, 100% what you need to do first, in my opinion, is going to be the journey. Because with the journey, you actually get some decent rewards. Right? You get a, get a gold player pack, whatever, a gold player pack. You get an all pro pack, you get 25,000 coins, a grid iron pack, another 25k. Then you get the journey master, Byron Jones, which is actually a pretty dang solid card. Uh, you get 80 training gear, and if you manage to get 200 stars, you get an all pro pack and the journey to completion token. I didn't even get the Journey 1 completion token. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the Journey 2 because honestly, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, if you guys are playing this, my personal recommendation, just go for 125 stars for now. You know, get the Journey Master Byron Jones. You can always come back later and get the Journey 2 completion token, get the all pro pack. Now, how long will it take you to do? It really depends. This first game, I've only played one solo so far, but it was, in fact, uh, you know, half a game. Uh, this one, it seems to be you start off in the fourth quarter. Some of these games, if I can be moments, there's probably going to be a couple of full game solos in here, potentially. It looks like this one is going to be a full game solo. So this could potentially take you guys a couple hours, but I think you should get it done, get the packs, and get the Byron Jones, because that Byron card is actually pretty dang solid and can make a lot of teams, even my team, uh, he could probably be my cornerback number four. If I want him to be, he could easily be my cornerback number three. Now, after you guys are finished with the journey, which by the way, when you're doing the journey, you're obviously going to level up a decent amount. You get some pretty good XP from that. But number two, you definitely want to work on leveling up. And if you guys want to know the quickest way to level up that I found is actually going to be NFL Epics, and it's going to be Baker Mayfield Solos. Now, it's not the one that I originally did. The one that I did for the longest time was the Week 5 Moment 3. I found, actually, it's Week 10, and it is Moment 1 that tends to be the best one in terms of the quickest one to uh, get done, and also it gives you the most XP. Now, when you're going through the solos, all you guys have to do is keep hitting Restart. Now, I can't remember if this actually counts for Mutt Master stats. Someone can comment down below. I've seen multiple different things. I've seen people say that it counts for Mutt Master stats. You just keep hitting restart. I've seen people say that it doesn't. So I don't know which one it does because I obviously am done with Mutt Master, so there's no way for me to check. But as you guys can see, pretty simple. Go into here and only play this on one star. The difficulty that you play the solo challenge on does not change how much XP you get. So play it on one star, and all you really have to do is just have a decently fast receiver like, you know, Randy Moss. You don't have to have Randy Moss. You can have Tyreek Hill. You can have Torrey Hill. Anyone. Throw a streak, and you are gone for a touchdown. Now, you don't even have to back out of here, which makes it very, very easy to do this. Now, we'll say still... It takes a pretty long time to get done because obviously if you're trying to go from 60 to level 70, it is going to take a while. The mud level grind is not easy, but I will tell you right now it is 100% worth it to grind out the mud levels as we actually probably could have got an easier touchdown thrown to be there. But it is 100% worth it to grind out the mud levels because I'll show you guys all the rewards. 100% worth it. But you can see we got two solos done. I'm going to back out and show you guys we had double the XP. So as long as you guys score a touchdown there, you can see right here you actually end up getting yourself... You know, a decent amount of XP. It does take a while, like I said. I uh, get 110 XP there, and then we played it twice, so we get an additional 110 XP per game. Uh, that's the best one that I found. If you guys have found a better way to level up, comment down below, because personally, that's the best one that I have personally found to do. Now, why do you want to get your levels up so quickly? There's two reasons why you want to get your levels up very, very quickly. If we take a look here at the series progression and the mud levels, you can see here, 
Number one, to me, is these player packs because these player packs are very high value right now. Uh, the 85 overall, even if you don't get the, the point ones, the coin ones, you can still get players like Tyree Kill, Zach Martin, everything like that. Level 62, you get a Grid Iron Pack. Level 63, you can get your level up for, for uh, Tory Holt. 35,000 coin quick sell. And the power of pass is the second reason. So first up, you get another 89 to 90, which is incredible. Level 66, again, you get some more of these player packs. Really, really good. Grand Iron Pack there. Uh, another level master upgrade token. Another 35,000 coins. And finally, the 91 to 92 overall power pass, which is like the best thing in the game right now because there's so many good cards that are 91 to 92. I did just upload a video yesterday going over the best use of this. So if you guys want to check that video out, definitely go ahead and do so. But grinding out your mutt levels is extremely, extremely important when it comes to this. Now also, um, this isn't something that you necessarily need to do, but I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Uh, currently, because of the most fair promo just ending, as of right now, training is so ridiculously cheap when it comes to these most feared players. I'm actually going to tell you guys the math on it, but I believe the cheapest training amount that we've seen so far uh, this year was about 23 coins per, and it was with the Mutt Heroes, right? They're the 91 overall Mutt Heroes when that exchange, when everyone got like their training refund. A ton of people did the Mutt Heroes packs. Mud Heroes were very, very cheap. But as you guys can see right now, because the Most Feared promo is over, people are selling off their Most Feared players. And actually, 93 overall Peyton Manning at this time is only 320k. Now, that is about a 21 coins per training point. So if you guys want to pick up 93 overall Peyton, it's a very, very good ratio of coins to training points. So if you want to pick up training right now, 93 overall Peyton Manning, definitely good. Now, his price will continue to go up, obviously. It was actually even a little bit cheaper. I believe he was like 300k a little bit earlier today, even a little bit less to where he was like 18, 19 coins per training point, which was by far the best training value. I know a lot of people that went out, bought these guys up, and just quick sold them. So if you want to pick up training points, Peyton Manning's not a bad idea. Now, once you guys are done with the journey, once you guys are leveling up, you obviously want to go ahead and start on this objective list because it's, it's really, really important. When you take a look here at the Series 3 multiplayer wins, when you're online games, you get a bunch of trophies, and trophies are very, very, very much needed with this series update, especially because, in my opinion, I think that this master that we have is actually kind of... I, I'm trying to find the right word for it. I think that this series from Master Devin McCordy is actually really underrated. Although his speed is, you know, not insane, his hit power is terrible, but his coverage stats are so good. Even if you guys wanted to, you could put him in a quarterback, and I honestly feel like he'd be a very, very good pickup for you. And if you want just like an amazing ball hawking, uh, coverage free safety, and McCourty has insane stats. I believe he has 94 zone, and I think he has 90 man coverage as well. So he is going to be one of the best ball hawking safeties in the game. So if you want to pick him up, get a coverage safety. I honestly. You know, I wouldn't say it's a bad idea at all, especially if you want to get the NAT one powered up, get a 95 overall free safety. That's going to last you quite a while. And I know it's kind of weird to say this, but honestly, this is just kind of how it is with new series updates. So when it comes to series two, uh, you guys notice I opened up, I believe, 200 getting golds in series two the first day, right? When I did that, I pulled two series Redux players. Now, when it comes to new series, there's obviously an increase in pack odds. So packs are actually a little bit better to start off the new series updates. And I would never say open up packs, but if you guys are trying to open up packs, if you plan on opening up any packs, I honestly feel as though right now is the best time to open packs. Because like I said, beginning of series two, I did 200 getting golds. I pulled two series Redux players. It seems like the very first like couple of days when it comes to new series updates, pack odds are just so much better as you get a 75 overall Jermaine Grace. And I'm gonna show you guys on the auction block right now how many series Redux players got pulled. Now, like I said, I opened up 200 getting golds day one of the new series update, and I pulled two series Redux players. I don't believe I pulled a single series, maybe I pulled one more series Redux, the rest of series two. And I did multiple 200 get a gold player pack openings, 100 get a gold player pack openings, a ton of different packs. It just seems like with the new series updates, EA seems to increase the pack odds a little bit at the beginning of the series. So if you plan on opening up any packs, I definitely recommend you'd open them right now and then probably in about a week or so, I, I would stay away from packs because obviously they tend to go down a little bit. But I'm going to show you guys in the auction about just how many series Redux players we actually have as we get 86 overall Clay Matthews out of that get a gold player pack there. And we also get another gold player. It just seems like at the beginning of new series, 
Getting gold player packs tend to just honestly give you your money back. It's a little bit weird, but it's just kind of how it works. And as you guys can see, based off the auction block, we have got a ton of Series Redux players up. Now, in terms of new ones, you can see we already got Travis Kelsey down to 250k. Damon Harrison, 275. There's a ton of Mark Ingrams up. Uh, we've got, uh, honestly, a ton of Damon Harrison as well. Tredavious White, Sony Michelle, Jarrell Casey, Chris Godwin's up. Uh, Jason Kelsey, I believe, is a new one. Evan Ingram's 550,000 coins. We've got Deshaun Watson up. We have got, let's see, Everson Griffin, I believe, was a newer one as well. We have got Le'Veon Bell, George Kittle, Randy Moss, Deion Sanders. All of these players, Rob Gronkowski, you will never see, uh, in about a week or so, right, you will never see this many players pulled. Keep in mind, recording this video at 11.47, right? So these packs have been up for an hour, and we have this many Series Redux players pulled. It's not going to be like that in a week. So if you guys are trying to open up packs to get Series Reduxes, I honestly don't think it's a bad idea. Also, by the way, maybe it's just a little bit of a uh, suspicion, I guess, but I've been tweeted about 15 to 30 times a day easily, probably more than that. I may just not see the notifications, but I get tweeted a lot a day of people watching my videos and opening up packs. There's probably someone even on this video right now watching this video, opening up packs and getting a good pull. I don't know why, but I seem to have some sort of good luck. So turn on one of my videos, maybe turn on a pack opening video that seems to do it for a lot of people. Turn on one of my pack opening videos, and try opening up some packs and see if that helps you. For some reason, I just got the juice. I'm just like the, the Santa Claus of pack odds, I guess. But with that being said, that's what I think you guys should do first in Series 3. Go ahead, play the journey, get your levels done for sure. Work on those head-to-head -head wins as well if you guys want to play some Weekend League, play some uh, Mutt Squads, play some Mutt Draft, whatever you guys want to go ahead and do. Definitely knock out those multiplayer wins as fast as you possibly can. You want to try and get the best value that you can with Devin McCourty. So if you want it, if you can get like 2,000 trophies very, very quickly and get that Devin McCourty, you can sell him for a lot, a lot of coins. And obviously, Mutt level, in my opinion, one of the biggest things you need to get done. Use that power up pass, save a ton of coins, because if you get that 91 to 92 overall power pass, and let's say you have one of those LTD cards, you have the Dion, you have the Moss, whatever. Obviously, the more people get their levels done, the price will just go down because people are going to use their power passes on that player. So make sure you guys go ahead and get that done first. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.